Okay, first of all, I'm sorry everyone, I know I was meant to talk about the satanic circles today, but there was some meeting after school, and some stuff went down, so I just have to tell you about this, because it's just too awkward, okay? I will talk about the satanic circles in the next one, if I make a next one. I will make a next one, you know what? Yeah, I will. So, after school I get in the car, everything's fine, we're about to go home, oh wait, no we're not, my mom says, oh wait, there's a meeting about iPads and that, okay. We go to the place where the meeting is, it's me, my mom, my little sister, and me and my little sister, we know this is not going to be a good meeting, this is just some weird awkward stuff that we're about to go through. So we sit down, there's first this massive lecture, it's not awkward because of the lecture, Okay, it's awkward because me and my sister are the only two kids there. Everyone else has gone home. The rest are just parents that are just like, eh, eh, what the hell is Apple? Just, no, stop. I'm close to the end of a row of, like, a woman sits down next to me and shows me a piece of paper she was given. And I really don't even know what the piece of paper is. It's just like a bunch of shapes that they handed out to, I don't even know. And then she goes, is this a quiz? Heh, <laughs> like, as if it was meant to be a joke. I just shrugged my shoulders and put a straight face on at that point because I just wanted her to go away. I have no idea who the hell she is. I was just like, okay, you know what, you can stop now. She actually meant it to be a joke, but however, it was the most unfunny thing. And then she goes, she like nudges me again and goes, what happens if I get it wrong? <laughs> FUNNY! So then my mom starts laughing just to get her off my back. And then she, my mom nudges me and just like starts giggling. But then some fat guy rolls in and starts talking about iPad tracking. Not like tracking as they know exactly where you are, but no app tracking. Now this is some bad news right here. The school now have the power to block apps. Yes, they have the power to now block apps. As soon as you're connected to their internet connection, they can block apps that they don't want you to be on. So, dishwasher sliver.io is now banned. Well, they might not know about it. You might still be alive. Baking tray. Kiwi, your smart water has been hacked. Okay, they're about to ban it. Cheese grater, your DDoSing software, it's gone. They're not gonna allow it, bro. But then someone who works for the school, I don't know who, they start going on a speech about how someone is coming in to speak to the parents about how they can use this weird controlling app at home. And then she names a bunch of things it can control. And the only thing that stood out to me was when she said Xbox. I want to kill myself. Luckily, I think I'm safe. I don't think my mom would, like, stop me from playing my Xbox. However, Water Bottle R.I.P. just saying, uh, five-year Xbox ban. And then a bunch of product placement came up on the screen, and then my mom actually just got tired, and we left. The speech went on for an hour and a half. We were there for an hour and a half, right? And as we walked out, I saw Towel Rack standing there, and I told him to not go in, and then we left. And the speech was still going when we left, just saying. Just one complaint about that speech though, why the hell was it so long, and why did people have to cough so loud? Literally, we, you just have, you can hold in a cough, you can actually just go, <coughs> but no, this one was going, <coughs> like, come on, let's, let's not do that. Well actually, I guess I could talk about English now, so yeah, I'll, I'll talk about English. So we're yet again in another English lesson, trying to kill ourselves, because the octopus is going on about Macbeth, and he, and Quo and and shut up and yeah. Then she says, you know what? Let's try something different. Let's go outside. And she called it. Let's do Socratic circles. No, but you know what we changed it to? We changed it to Satanic circles because, come on, who the hell wouldn't change it to that? We're in an English lesson. So we go outside. Five people have to sit on the inside of the Satanic circle. Six people go on the outside. I was on the inside first, obviously, because, come on, you just gotta troll me like that. So, the people on the inside were given weird quotes from <gasps> McBeef, and uh, you have to, like, evaluate them. It's like, someone on the outside would be your partner, would, like, they would tell the teacher at the end how you did, and explain to you what you need to improve on and all that, and so it's, it's basically it's basically the same as being inside the classroom. There's, a, there's pretty much no point. So we start discussing and all that. It's, it's basically the most awkward thing because everyone was just laughing on the inside and we couldn't take it seriously. So we were all just dying. It was in the circle with me. It was Toaster, Kiwi, Colinda, <laughs> and Marzipan. So Marzipan and Toaster were definitely dying on the inside along with me because I, I was about to explode. But you know what? I, I couldn't because I, I would have died in real life. Luckily, Hagrid was my partner at the end, so he did say some great things about my discussion, even though I said literally one line and, you know, but then, you know, Octopus is just like, Stop. Stop, please. 
But then it's time to switch round the satanic circle. So, and then the people on the inside go on the outside, the people on the outside go on the inside, you get the idea, right? You can see it in her face, Marzipan is still dying on the inside, so is Toaster. And then everyone else on the outside goes on the inside and starts discussing whatever quote they got. Water bottle goes on some weird drugs. Start talking about arcade claw machines. He's just like, so when the arcade claw machine doesn't work, do you get angry at the claw machine or the people who made the claw machine? What the hell are you talking about? I mean, I know what you were talking about, but really, was the cocaine necessary at this point? Eh? But anyway, I think that brings us to the end. So, baking tray, don't let your smart water get hacked. You might want to keep that. And I am certainly not letting them take my Xbox, because I swear, if my mom downloads that weird stuff that possesses other people's stuff, I will possess everything. Seriously, why did that woman have to cough so loud, though?